Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So I'm in the bathroom right now getting ready to go do some pre-vacation shopping. I'm not overly excited about it. I don't know why going out when it's cold and you just don't want to like, I don't know if I'll try stuff on it or not. Probably. I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for. I just like to have just, I don't know, a few new things when I'm on vacation. Do they have shorts out at the stores yet? I don't know. Anyways, I'm putting on my makeup. And the other day when we were at Walmart, Carly told me I needed to try this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I have been a huge fan of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara for the longest time. I personally don't see a huge difference between using one mascara to another. I don't have very long eyelashes, so it's like you only can do, you gotta work with what you have, right? But I did use it on this eye right here. The brush is so bendable. Like look at this, when you put it in here, it practically bends. And it was funny because when I took it out for the first time, I was going like this, I'm like, look, you can rub it on your hand nothing comes off but the mascara it's like in these tiny little grooves so I think that's what helps it like not get clumpy like you know how when you just use this kind of mascara brush sometimes like there'll be clumps so I will show you guys I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see but when you put it on these tiny little bristles I can't talk and do it well I guess I can but um they do an amazing job at like really spreading out your eyelashes. Like it's pretty crazy. I don't know, what do you guys think? Impressive? I also got this new moisturizer. It's by L'Oreal. It is the Midnight Cream. Link the stuff down below if you guys wanna check it out. I know they sell this on Amazon. It's not cheap. I wanna say this was like $36, but it feels expensive it feels like a way better for your face moisturizer than just this stuff so i'd use this at night and then i use this in the morning and my face the dryness of my face that i was complaining about in the other video last week or whatever has improved so i've been moisturizing the crap out of my face lately one more thing i wanted to share before i leave and i need to thank you guys for this you guys know my favorite protein, Clean Simple Eats. I have a whole box full of goodies, different flavors. Cake batter, strawberry cheesecake, some of the vanilla. So I couldn't even tell you guys how long I've been using their protein. Has it been like two years? It's been a long time. Two things I have to share. One, I reached their like top tier level of their influencer program, which basically means I've sold a huge amount of products for this company because it is the best protein ever. And the thing is, is I'm always sharing their protein, but they sell a ton of other products too. Like I use these a lot. You add just to water for like energy, but they have hydration ones. They have like greens, simple greens you can add to your protein shakes. They have collagen. They have peanut butters, all these different flavored peanut butters. I do have some of those in the pantry. So thank you to you guys for always purchasing their products. I had a small packet of the chocolate peanut butter not too long ago and I just love it so much. So I got a big bag of that. And number two, no matter where you are in your fitness plan, if you're at the beginning stages and you're just trying to eat healthier and you wanna add protein shakes, into your diet every day or if you're like a long time user of protein and if you're anything like me and all my years of trying different kinds of protein that just tastes so horrible chalky like i've had ones before that literally make you want to gag i can promise you if you try their protein powders you will not even feel like your drinking protein this is hands down the best protein i've ever tasted Ken still gets from Casco those like, is it Premier Protein? He just likes those little cartons because they're already pre-made. He doesn't want to have to do the step of mixing them. I've tried those. Don't even come close to this protein powder. Just give them a try. You can, you can purchase these small little packets. They're one time serving for like a couple bucks or something. You can use my code. Link is down below. Get yourself some savings. But seriously though, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Okay, you guys, I know this is really weird. I'm in the process of taking my makeup off. 
but I was like, holy crap, look at this mascara. It literally looks the same as what it looked like this morning when I put it on. I have to say, I'm impressed. I didn't mean to leave you guys hanging. I will share with you tomorrow the new clothes that I got. And all my bags are just sitting in there on my closet island. Right now I'm watching A Star Is Born on HBO Max. I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite movies and I haven't seen it in a long time. I've seen it several times, but I haven't seen it in a long time. We got crumble cookie. We got some new flavors we've never had before. The sugar cookie with the animal cracker in it. That one is double, it's like chocolate cake, double chocolate cake. Let's see it, chocolate cake. And then this one is Kentucky butter cake. And I wasn't going to get it, and then I Googled it, and everybody says it's so good with the powdered sugar on top. And then this is peanut butter banana. This one I'm excited about. So Carly's gonna cut them up. Okay, we're going with this first. I put, I took the banana chip, look. Are you mad? No. Are you ready? <laughs> Wait, I kind of want to eat it by itself. Oh, I'm eating the banana chip. Mm -hmm. I love banana chips. I like the f smell of the frosting. Mm, very peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Those are really good. Now, that's definitely one of their better ones. I have a now, feeling- the best one ever was pumpkin cake. You think? Best cookie mm -hmm. I've ever gotten from Crumble. It was so good. I don't think I'm gonna love this Kentucky, whatever it's called. It doesn't really You have, have to rate smell. the peanut butter one. Oh. The peanut butter one tastes exactly like I give it an 8 out of the 10. The smoothie from Tropical Smoothie. The I think banana. it's like the one with banana, peanut butter, and chocolate, yeah. whatever it is. That is literally that. The bum? Sun? It's not bum. I think oh. It's called peanut butter chocolate, I think. Uh, smell this. It barely has a smell. Did I just get powder on my nose? No. Alright. I rate the last one a 9 out of 10, though. It's not top tier, but it was really good. Okay. Mm, not it taste bad, anything. but it's not like... I don't know, someone described it as something about Kentucky, like, bunt cake. Like, it's oh. supposed to copy, like, some famous bunt cake. I feel like I just bite it, and I feel like I'm just chewing Cookie. texture mm -hmm. and breathing in powder. Yeah. I didn't like that one that much. Mm -mm. I'll give that a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I'd say 3. All right, time, time for this chocolate. Oh, mm. God. That's aggressive. Mm. I don't even like chocolate that much. I love chocolate. I could not eat that whole thing. Mm -hmm. I would die. It's good though. I give it a 8.5 out of 10. I like it slightly it's better so, than that one. It's so rich. Shit. Okay, ready? It tastes like smells sprinkles. Like... Or smells like sprinkles. I, <laughs> I wish there was more frosting on it. Yeah. Like whipped frosting almost. Mm -hmm. mm. If you close your eyes and they give you a bite of this and that, you probably wouldn't even know the difference. Except for the texture. Yeah. And the sprinkles. But they just taste like the same. A cookie. Very bland. Mm hmm The peanut butter one though, so good. Don't yeah. let anyone eat that. <laughs> I don't I'm being forced against my will to come show you guys this. As if you care. This is a crumbling grill. Look at it, falling apart. So rusty inside. We got new grates and new flavor bars, but the plates on the bottom are kind of in bad shape. What are the flavor bars for? They, when the it cooks, the grease drops back down and comes up and cooks again. Oh. They're called flavor bars. It was oh. so rusted, rusted food. We were eating rust for dinner. You said you're not shaving till Sunday. Yes. Your face won't tan. Yes, it does. It. Your does your head tan? No. What are you doing? Playing tug of war with that toy? Yep. Who's gonna win? Get it, Paul. Dax always wins. What are we doing? We're saying Dax always wins, right? We're saying Dax is stronger. Yeah. See, every he time has a, he has a small attention <laughs> span. No, I think Dax is stronger. He is. Whoa, a little zoomed in there. I'll show you first the stuff that I got for the kids for Valentine's Day. And Andrew, if you're saying this, I'm sorry. I didn't get you anything because number one, you don't like sweets and then I would have to ship it to you. So I feel bad, but we will see you soon and we'll have to treat you to dinner. So um, just got these little bags. I just did this for, I don't know, something fun since we'll be gone on Valentine's Day and I can just like hide them somewhere 
and then text Chase and Carly on Valentine's Day and say this is where your bags are and I'll probably give Blake his when he comes over on Sunday for the Super Bowl. So this little heart of gummy bears, some um, Reese's. And I don't know if I got these because I think they look good, but they're little chocolate squares filled with caramel or caramel. I usually say caramel. I got Chase, this Yoda bath bomb. It says it has a surprise inside, so it must be like a little Yoda or something. And then I got Carly, this watermelon bath fizzy. So they just got an extra bath thing. I don't think Blake takes baths. But Chase and Carly, well, you guys know Carly takes baths all the time, but Chase comes down here and sometimes takes a bath in our bathroom. I have a feeling that'll probably be happening when we're gone. And then clothes that I got. I'll tell you what, there was not a lot. I feel like I really struggled. Nobody really has, like, summer, spring clothes really out yet. There was, like, no shorts to be found of. So these are the tops that I got from Marisa's, this t-shirt. And this top has this little thingy at the top. It's just floral. I thought that was really cute. This is just kind of like a t-shirt. Dressier shirts at Dillard's. These will be like for evening. I thought this would look really nice with some black pants for dinner. Probably like black capris. And then I thought, oh it's kind of wrinkly. I'm going to have to iron this. I thought this would be really cute for Valentine's Day. So this one says Inspire. Wear that one during the day. And then I was trying to tell Ken, I'm like, I don't know, a lot of times we just get up and put like our swimsuits on and then I'll just put like a dress or something over it. So then we can just go to the pool or the beach right afterwards. So then we hardly even like dress casual. It's kind of like we live in our swimsuits during the day and then in the evening we dress up nice for dinner. So I'm probably not even going to need, I mean I already did three shirts at Marisa's and then two more at Torrid. Probably going to pack all these and maybe not even end up wearing all of them but they're things that I would wear regardless. And this one, a little bit different, just kind of, it's like a dark gray, almost black with just the flowers right here. It's just this like olive, it's olive green and has these blue stars on it. So, and I definitely have like some cute dresses that I could take for dinners as well, but a lot of them I like to just kind of use as like a bathing suit cover up. Like this would be really cute to have your bathing suit on and then just put this on to go to breakfast. And then when you want to go in and eat lunch or whatever. I was thinking of maybe taking this dress too that I wore for Carly's graduation. Should be fun. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm sure by now you're subscribed to our channel. But if you're not, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. And we will see you guys next time. Bye guys.